that's the Syrian border just here. Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new here, we're Cheska and Ben. With Upup River, we travel full time in our camper van, Sofia. For the next few months, we're exploring Turkey and at the minute, our roads are heading east. Subscribe and join us for the ride with new videos every Sunday. So we have officially left Antakya and we're now making our way northeast towards a place called Gaziantep. It's one of the oldest cities in the world. It's the home of Baklava and the gastronomy capital of Turkey. So this, so this line here, this white line through the mountains, that is the Syrian border. That big wall with all these towers along it. It's I, like the Great Wall of Turkey. I did not realise that the, the Syrian border had such a wall between Turkey as well. No, I didn't really know what to expect to be honest. No. I do hope that one day we get to go to Syria and places like that and Iran. The Middle East. The Middle East, it'll be amazing. So just on the side of the road, we're just seeing this huge, huge pile of red stuff. And turns out it's just thousands of chilies drying. So here we've got chilies. That's the Syrian border, just here. Never, ever expected to be here. So it's actually a really beautiful drive. It is just like this semi-desert. There's miles and miles of olive plantations, these like rolling hills and mountains. The road is in good condition with just a few lorries on it. We've just stopped for a coffee break and I have absolutely no idea where, but... Hello, what are you doing? Come here, hello. Inshallah. Hello. Nani <laughs> Nikora? Um, Inglaterra. 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 Photo. Super. Nice. Photograph. Chocuzelle. Yeah, yeah. Chocuzelle. It's nice, man. Nice. 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 Oh, no, it is. The guy that lives over in this farm is just coming over to us and you, wondering why here? the hell we're right. stopped here oh, taking pictures fine. of this road. But well, it just feels like in the middle of nowhere yeah, here. Well, it's beautiful. Just an example of Turkish hospitality at its finest. That guy invited us in for a drink, for some showers, for some food. Unfortunately, we're on a schedule and those things will take a long time and it'll probably be dark by the time that we finished. So unfortunately, we had to say no, but it's just an example of just how friendly and hospitable and warm the Turkish people are. <laughs> So we've come through this little village and the road is just full of people and cars. The road is, the traffic is stopped. Marianne's been speaking to somebody who says the road is closed. Someone else has said if you just wait, it will die down. I think it's a funeral service. Huh? Now she's speaking oh, to somebody in French. <laughs> <laughs> he just brought us some food over. Oh, it's nice and warm. Oh, excuse me? Mm. Are you biting into that without even offering me some? There we go. Just it's spicy. Is it spicy? Wow, it's really spicy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's fine. You're fine. Just. So this guy told us he's, we can follow him and he'll show us through the village. Oh, uh, okay. Part. Brilliant. Are you sure you wouldn't like some more? No. <laughs> Have you tried I it? No, it's because quite he spicy. said it's going to take his face That's off. That's really, really so, spicy. And, and I've been given two lots now. I don't know what is going on, but Marianne is here chatting to one, two, three, six Turkish men in French, holding a massive P-Day. I've got a massive P-Day. Chris is in the van in front of us. <laughs> yeah. we're, just, we're just parked up in the middle of the road. We think we're actually in the middle of a funeral procession, yeah, at, at the end of the funeral. And, Everyone's so friendly. I don't keep giving us Can I just more. say, I literally love people. <laughs> yeah. It's so nice. I love people. All right. 
We're going off road. That road's fucking closed anyway. We're going, oh my word, this is this is <laughs> what it's all about, isn't it? This is, you rock up randomly to a Turkish funeral, you get fed pile. Pide. Pide. And now you're off-roading with yeah. some French guy. Through the fields. Through the fields in, in Turkey. Hospitality at its finest. Officially back on the road. What a fun detour that was. With free food as well. What an incredible drive that was yesterday. Never ever in a million years thought we'd be getting that close to Syria. But we have made it to a little free camping air. It has free electricity, free water, free hot unlimited showers with a very high pressure. It also has free laundry. You can stay here for three nights for free. How incredible is that? England take note and it has the cutest little neighbors. Yeah. How is everyone this morning? Cold. <gasps> it's Jesus. the first morning you can see this. <sighs> oh my god, oh, I know. It was chilly, wasn't it? Very, very cold. And get diesel. The dogs were barking all night. <laughs> did you get any sleep? I did, yeah. Did I sleep nice. through anything? I need to find my earplugs. It's all River's friends. She's made so many friends now. Like a whole pack. Morning. How are you this morning? Good morning. Cold. Cold, 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 cold. It actually dropped to about three degrees last night, which means we're going to have to go get diesel today for a diesel heater because we're, because we're like further north away from the coast, it does, the temperature does drop. But during the day, it's like 20, 22, 23 degrees. So we're going to leave this amazing little campsite and head to Gaziantep. Gaziantep in southeast Turkey is one of the oldest cities in the world. Come here for the many copper workshops, the handcrafted Yemeni sandals, and of course, the food. It's a UNESCO listed gastronomy city, taking Turkish food to a whole new level. One day isn't enough to eat your way around the winding streets here, but we're gonna give it our best shot. We've literally only been here five minutes and there is food everywhere. You can definitely tell that this is a food city. It was absolute chaos in there. I have no idea what it is that we've ordered, but it looks like it's cheese and pistachio wrapped up in a really fine phyllo pastry. He basically rolls it as thin and as thin as you can get it. It makes it like this, it covers the entire counter. Then he puts pistachios on it, I think some cheese, and then they roast it in this wood-fired oven. I'm excited to try this. Is it cheesy? No. It's not cheese? I don't know. I, honestly, I can't tell you. It's like some sort of creamy... It's almost... It's slightly sweet, slightly savoury, and crunchy. So, so good. Is it warm? Mm. That pistachio is unbelievable. Tessie Cora did him. <laughs> oh, River, look, even more treats. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> the food tour for River as well. She invited in to have a good stall. Got some chai, feeding River. The guys just invited. Oh, River, sorry. The guys just invited us into his spice shop. There are so many herbs and spices here. Is this uh, sumac? Sumac. 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 <laughs> so this is like a walnut in a sort of jelly like sujuk. Oh, sujuk. Mmm. Mmm. Do you like that? Mmm. 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 Do you want to get some? Mmm. Let's get some. Yeah. So we've got about half a kilo of pistachios. 
Hoş bulduk. Welcome, welcome. <gülüyor> Merhaba. Bir walk. Just come for a walk through the bazaar here. It's very different to the one in Antakya from last week. Gaziantep, as well as being famous for baklava and food, is also famous for its many sandals and copper work. There are so many copper shops and sandal shops in here. It's a real like handiwork, like craft kind of place. I feel like we're going to go home with a lot of stuff. Hey, it's a little bit busy, so I'll just, I'll just carry up food because a lot of people are a bit standoffish. Okay, so to start with, we've got a load of mezes that me and Marianne could not decide on. This one is red cabbage. This one is like olives, chickpeas and yogurt. I thought it was lentils, but it's some sort of bean, isn't it? And then we've got aubergine here. And I think this is some sort of cauliflower, paprika thing. So I'm gonna try this one. what these were called but they're roasted aubergine and pepper stuffed with bulgur wheat garlic herbs spices they're served cold so we're going to give these a go oh my god that is literally a taste explosion the roasted aubergine is so rich and because it's cold, it's kind of sticky. So Marianne was just saying that it probably dehydrated aubergine that's then been rehydrated with a load of stock, tomato puree, bulgur wow. wheat, herbs. <laughs> <laughs> um, and all those stock, yummy things. And all those really tasty flavours, and it is, that is why it's so intense. It is just a taste explosion. Mm, worry. I still think we made good work of that. I think we did quite good. Yeah. Well, I reckon we still got room for a couple more restaurants. Yeah. Yeah. a mixed grill kebab which looks like it's gonna take up most of the table. <laughs> this is just the like the little meze starter side bits on the table right now. The intent is definitely the city of food for sure. Fire. Ben's testing for Marianne whether that's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> that's it, get in the yogurt. <laughs> my, that's for me and Ben. Wow. Oh. oh my goodness. Wow, look. Goodness. At the size of that. It's like a whole bench. Wow. Oh, look at the mushrooms. Not only does it go long, it goes up too. Is she gonna... oh, look how pretty it is. What have we got, Chris? We have a lot of stuff here. So apart from the salads and the esme, esme to start with, we've got some uh, mince kebabs here in yogurt with some salad. We've got bread, we've got grilled tomatoes. We have another kebab that's upright here with tomatoes and peppers, a dana kebab, a chicken kebab, patlijan or aubergine kebab stuffed with mince meat. We've got mushrooms, grilled chili peppers. Ali Nazik. What's this called? Ali Nazik. Ali Nazik. Ali, Ali Nazik. Evet, Ali Nazik. Ah. Ali Nazik. This one is called Ali Nazik. 
apparently. I've never heard of that before, but Gaziantep has so many unique dishes, uh, that's why some of these we don't actually know the exact name of, but they are amazing. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Chris so happy. <laughs> Look at that <laughs> so hard to eat it cleanly. <laughs> that tastes absolutely incredible. <laughs> I love the fact that they they just stabbed these skewers into the oh look at that dripping there wowzers and then this is like a looks like a sausage how is it Ben? Amazing. Spicy sausage. Mmm. Like trick strip so it is like Turkish chorizo. <laughs> so this is where the magic happens. This is them putting together the platter that we've just had. Okay, that was an absolute massive success. And now I'm gonna go back for a sleep. We are stuffed going to collapse into a food coma. We've got a live chat tonight with Chris and Marianne over on their channel, so we need to recoup and recover ready for that, don't we? Oh, home sweet home. Hello. Hello, how are we doing? Good. Happy birthday to you. Well, happy Did you birthday see that? Today. I started singing happy birthday and the two security guards joined in. Oh, did they? <laughs> and then I thought, I'll just have to keep it going. Yeah. They'll wonder whose birthday it is. <laughs> So we managed to not fall into a food coma. Although I did not, sleep for an hour I must earlier. Admit, did you? I yeah. was close to. I really wanted to. <laughs> did you not I was sleep? Being, no, I was being brave. I just had some dog therapy. And <laughs> <I was> fine. <laughs> That's so okay. River, why are you looking like that for? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't she know. She is shattered. She she, is, I'm not surprised. Can you imagine I going can through see a market her eyes. with all oh. those senses? And the smells, look at you. Are we you? have she got baklava, go, go. we've oh. got wine, we are getting ready to go live. Sugar. Over on these guys' channel. It's always about sugar. Good energy, sugar. Say hi to all your fans. Celebrity dog. Ooh. Oh, Chris is back. Stranger danger. Hello. Yes, you are <laughs> Despacito. This car park is mad. They literally love to double, triple park, and we're long, so we need to get the hell out of here. So now we are heading to the oldest back of a shop in Gaziantep, I believe, possibly Turkey. And why Don't is, quote me on that. Why is that important? It is important because baklava is the staple sweet dessert of Turkey. And? And Cheska loves it. And? Gaziantep is the home of baklava. Bien, okay. So we're stocking up with a big box of baklava. I've asked for three of everything. <laughs> <laughs> There's no other way to do it. I'm looking at the pastry and look at all the layers of pastry in that. All of these are like the most delicate. To go for the diamond. This looks really good. Mm. Oh, it's very good. The pastry is so flaky. It's sticky and gooey and like unctuous and you've got the rich pistachio filling. It's not sickly sweet which is dangerous because I'm glad I've got three of everything. <laughs> <laughs> it is literally amazing. Oh, and I've got three of each. Oh, excellent. That's a... Oh my god, it feels heavy, babe. Yeah, I've got three of everything. <gasps> oh my god, we said three of everything. I didn't realize there was a massive river nose out. That is what I'm talking about. How good is that? Mm. 
probably should have got a sword right now. Suddenly not looking like a lot. Because <laughs> that is gooey, but not like sickly sweet. Exactly. It's the gooiness that I really mm. like. So, that, unfortunately, is the end of Gazi and Tep. That wraps it up for us here. Now it's time to move on to our next spot. Healthy. Oh, yeah. We're driving, it's literally just miles and miles of like barren land, but they've all got these trees. I don't know if you can see it, it's all pistachio trees. Thank you for watching guys if you enjoyed the video please feel free to give it a thumbs up join us next week as we continue going deeper into eastern turkey camping on the euphrates river and feeling very very far from home so it's hard to believe that under here is an entire village and we are now on top of the mosque the minaret it's still sticking out It <laughs> <laughs> can't be a bit of spicy sausage, right? <laughs> yeah. Recording on there some words that say at the bottom. No, because the screen's gone off. It's recording, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of a